understand that I set my eyes on you Baby, I was stuck on you I'm on me a cut for you Make my body call for you All for you Went back inside my dream to search for you Looking like a dream come true Cause you make my dream come true Baby, I will stand by you with you Cause you are my woman, womanly Cause you are so woman, woman sweet Come and Mr. Roman, romantic Come and make you feel good or romantic Cause you are my woman, womanly Cause you are so woman, woman sweet Come and Mr. Roman, romantic Come and make you feel good or romantic I met him first at an audition A movie called Broken I think, yeah, that was her first audition. She just came back from the UK. And then my friend said there was an audition. I should come. So when she walked in, I was like, wow, who's this beauty? So I walked up to her and said, hello. I'm going to interview you in a few minutes about child abuse. And I'm like, are you OK? Oh, oh, she romantic, yo. romantic, yo. so romantic, yo. yeah. she We got talking and I interviewed her. It was it was quite amazing. So she went through the audition and um, coincidentally she she um, she was cast as uh, my my half sister. So that was when he asked my name and said if you could have my number or my pin. So I said okay, I'm going to give you my pin. But even after the movie, we're still saying hi, hello to one another. We chat every day, you know. We we talk about everything. I don't know how, but... That lasted for three years. That was how everything started. Call you Mr. Roman, romantic. Say you make me feel good, Mr. Roman. Time to show you a shoulder, 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 shoulder. Make me long. So we drifted apart for some time. And um, we met again. On, on the set of another movie. Diary of the Tree Flick. <sighs> and the love started again. So we're just talking and catching up on old times and you know. So there was a day we were driving out like during set, we went to eat. And I popped the question like, you, your shakara is too much, won't you just marry me? And she was like, is that the way to really ask a lady out and stuff? Like, come on. And then he went on saying how he wants to marry me, how he wants to marry an actress. I'm the, oh, I was like, oh, so you want to marry me because I'm an actress? I was like, no. After some time, she... We, we met at my sister's place. And he was like, oh, so you're not us about it, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, I, I'm going to give you a chance. Let's see how it goes. I was so excited, like, I couldn't believe it. So he went to the fridge and there was no wine, there was no juice, there was nothing. So he brought out orange. So I got a knife, I split the orange in two. I was just like, okay, let's cheers. <laughs> Like to worry, I like to carry, carry. I would like to marry, carry. I for like to marry. Okay, there was one day he was just very uneasy about everything. He just he was carrying a very big bag, a very big empty bag. She was like, okay, alright, can I make use of your bag since I won't be needing a lot of stuff and you know, on on this trip. And I'm like. What is in this bag? What is in this bag? I didn't know how to tell her that nah. <laughs> the ring is in the bag. I'm like, oh, so why are you carrying an empty bag? She was so angry. I was like, okay, you can have the bag. So she took the bag. She walked into her house. I was in my car. I was like, okay, what do I do? I went inside and then he just followed me. I was scared. I thought something had happened. I said, sorry, uh, I left something in the bag. I need to get it. She was like, well, what's in the bag? There's nothing in the bag. And then he just knelt down and said, will you marry me? I'm like, are you serious? And like, he was like, yes, um, I would like to marry you. I would like to spend the rest of my life with you and everything. And 
I said yes. Meanwhile, he planned it with my mom. Take away all of my friends. So mommy, I got you a crown and you know I'm for real. You know that I got you for real. I'm an artist. I just made a deal. So you know I ain't playing. You know when I put you to bed, I don't joke with emotions. Kill me, say for it, Tara. How everybody hit you can for a matter. Then the young, they fast, they press, they make we scatter. But as long as you got my back. He's everything. Like, he's not just nice and caring and loving to me alone but everyone around him you know, she's beautiful in and out she has a very beautiful heart she's tender-hearted she's kind she's caring she's she's everything you would want in a woman See, I like to carry, like to carry, like to carry. Oh. <laughs> Hi everybody! Hello everyone! Thank this is you. Max Sass and this is Ike, his baby, his soon to be wife, or his wife on this day that you're watching. Exactly. Or at least his wife. Yeah, this is my wifey. So everybody. we just want to say what? Thank you. Yeah, to just want to say thank you to coming. everyone. Yeah. And for what else? For celebrating with us. We really appreciate everything. Seriously, we really appreciate everyone coming. We just want to say thank you. We don't know how to say thank you, but we just want to say thank you to everybody. God bless you all. Nobody's having me fast. Like nobody.